blah, blah, Maddie and Jimmy. Every man, woman, every girl and boy There ain't no dispute and it's my favorite toy I'm a powerful woman, I'm strong and I'm crazy That stepping on a Lego makes me cry like a baby Uh-oh, uh-oh, I just stepped on a Lego Uh-oh, uh-oh, I just stepped on a Lego Uh-oh, uh-oh, I just stepped on a Lego Lego. I'm a big tough man with nothing to lose But Lego can be spooky when you're not wearing shoes It's pointy, it's sharp, it's worse than an itch when I step on a Lego It hurts like a bee sting Which is quite a lot It makes my foot sore Uh-oh, uh-oh, I just stepped on a Lego Uh-oh, uh-oh, I just stepped on a Lego Uh-oh, uh-oh, I just stepped on a Lego It did. It did. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, oh guys. Oh, my God. Sorry we're a little bit late. We yeah, were just a bit we too had excited. To, we, I had to do my makeup. I had to do my hair. To be honest, and I had to get my fluffy jacket on. It you was, know. It's crazy. But hello. Hello. Happy Sunday. We are so excited to be here, guys, for what is the biggest show yet. Yep. That I've, is I've right. measured it. I took out the measure. I took out the ruler, and it is the biggest show yet. <laughs> Mm. It is so big. We have a jam-packed show for you today, guys. Um, you know, not only are we sitting here pumped on a Sunday, ready for the general Maddie and Jimmy show, but tonight, oh, tonight, yes, is the very, very first episode of Lego Master Season. Oh, two. I thought you were going to say current affair. Oh, no, well, it's I'm Lego Master sure Season two. two. We are so <laughs> pumped. We are so excited. Jimmy. More pumped than uh, a bike tire shop. Oh, I yeah, that's yeah, my yeah, last yeah. name too. Uh, very good. Oh yeah, Maddie Tyers. Maddie Tyers. And Maddie, you are looking quite fabulous. I am very uh, dolled up, hence mm. why it took us a little bit longer today, yeah. guys, to get ready. I, I apologise. I woke up like this. Uh, you, you definitely did. I didn't. I didn't. This is my special jacket. I got married in this jacket. Oh, did you? To you. Oh yeah, you did. Do you remember you, that? You totally did. You totally May did. May the fourth be with you. Um, we are so excited because not only do we have the premiere tonight, guys. Yeah, we've we, got so much other stuff happening we too. We have so many things happening. We are launching. The Variety Kids Challenge today. Oh my gosh. And we're going to chat to you all about what that is in just a moment. But I will say, it's probably one of the most mega competitions we've done. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. ever. We also, speaking of competitions, have a live quiz happening at the end of the show. Uh, We are doing another minifig scramble. So So if you have any... Mini figs yeah, get them lying ready. around. Get them ready. Get them ready. Or you can break them up, put them into an envelope, make your own homemade mini figs for that. But get that ready. We are also... <gasps> Brace yourself. <gasps> interviewing... So we've, kind of t- we've, had, we've got the top of the sandwich, the bottom of the sandwich. What's in the middle of the, the sandwich? The meat and potatoes. The meat not that you put potatoes in a sandwich, <laughs> unless you're carb loading. We are interviewing not only Brickman, a.k.a. Ryan McNaught. And I just burped when I said Brickman. You, do it you every didn't time. just imagine that. <laughs> we are also interviewing not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, but all eight of the Lego Masters Season 2 teams. That's right, guys. Oh, my gosh. I am just... I've been waiting for this moment all week. Have you guys been waiting? Because you can ask them questions. And look, speaking of questions, because I am getting loads of chats coming through. Morning, Elijah. Morning, Evie and Isla. Abby, you're a gem. Oh, look, we're just getting all the chats. Oh, wow. Team Puppy Dog Eyes. Ah. Oh, you They've know, been with us since Sunday. the beginning. Harrison says hi. Good morning, everyone. Um, if you would like to chat to us and, ha- and potentially uh, Brickman and the other contestants today, you can do so by jumping on the chat function. So Jimmy's just showing you there. There's a little red dot in the corner of the screen. You either, press it. That's exactly right. Either on your phone or on your computer. And then you can chat with us. And you can chat with us live. What um, are people saying? Oh, you know, all the general happy Sunday stuff. Zeke and the fam bam, good morning. Good morning, Rick and Caroline. Love <gasps> you guys. Oh, um, I love that Rick and Carol- Caroline are watching. And I love that lots of adults are watching and kids because this show is for both adults and children and adult children alike. It's for everybody. Mm. Um, speaking what accent of, was that? I don't know. It was my Sunday morning excited accent. You sounded accent. like a little sort of Oliver Twist. Um, Speaking of everybody, though, Jimmy, I have everybody. to say, we actually yeah. got... That was great. Thank you. I love the back, Backstreet Boys rendition. Mm. We did get a lot of amazing photos sent through yeah. this week from our uh, show last week, which was our Easter special. Don't believe us, just watch. 
Um, there have they are. a look at some of these great photos, Jimmy. There's, There's an some Easter bunny. Easter bunny. And of course, we had our um, challenge last Sunday of make a mug. And here's some people's mugs. Oh, I love that. They did that. a lot better than me. That they accidentally so thought good. accidentally thought we were building ducks. A duck. You got it completely yeah. wrong. Listen, you got it completely always wrong. Always listen. But that is absolutely fine. We have some more pics as we well do. there, Jimmy. And um, there's a duck. I think someone else made a duck as well. Oh, I love them. There's some brickheads there. Um, I, I really love that little chicken that's coming out of the egg and it's got like an eggshell as a hat. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It reminds me of a cross between Chewy and... And you. Oh, mm. well, isn't that and a guys, cute combo? Uh, before we forget as well, please also subscribe to us on our YouTube channel, which is just below. Uh, we put out videos every week, how-to videos, and also some fun sketch hours because we like a bit of a sketch. It's sketchy. Uh, we're also on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. But speaking of TikTok, the clock is ticking because it's challenge time. <laughs> oh my gosh! This is okay, guys. Again, like I said, sounded I've like been... you were doing a fart then. I was. Oh my god! <laughs> Don't Sorry. smell. <laughs> I have been waiting for this moment all week. Okay, yes. all week. Not just for the, the guests we've got on later today, but mm. this challenge, our Variety Kids Challenge, is launching right here, right now. That's right, guys. Um, Wait for the official slide. <gasps> da, slide. Da, 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 da. Woo, woo, woo. Um, we are pumped, guys. Every Sunday for the next month, so for the next four weeks. Including today. Including today. Jimmy and I are going to be announcing a new challenge to put your creativity to the test. Dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You'll have just under a week, okay? You've mm -hmm. got just under a week to build this challenge that we're about to tell you about. And you could go into the selection for some Huge prizes. Huge prizes. And yes, they are Lego. They are Lego prizes. Just before you were like, is it just like a, a, a roast chicken? Because I'm I'm vegan. It's not. It's, it's Lego. Not. It's not. It's, it's Lego. Lego and it is huge. So to be in with a chance to win one of these prizes over the next four weeks, you will need to jump on our website, the maddieandjimmy.com. She means like go to the website. Don't actually jump on it because your parents will be oh, like, yeah. you broke my computer. You jumped on the computer. It's not great if you jump on the computer. You jumped on my Dell. Get into the website is what I mean. Um, if you scroll down a little bit from where you are on the stream page right now, there is a Variety Kids Challenge. Uh, it looks like this. And you can click on that. Um, you'll need to register, sign up, get your mum and dad to help. You'll need to create a profile because what you'll be doing is uploading all the photos and videos of your chat, of your builds mm. to that portal each week. You can send them to us as well, but you definitely need to send them to this portal. You do. Um, um, because we'll be judging them, won't we, Jimmy? Yeah. And you need to get them in by every every Friday for the next month at 7 p.m. And if you're like, okay. I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm taking notes. Don't worry, all this information is on the website. Uh, and also, Absolutely. speaking of websites, sh to show off your creations, please put them on Facebook, Instagram as well. We want you to show off your beautiful, brilliant creativity, but remember to put the hashtag Variety Kids Challenge mm -hmm. and use uh, their at Variety Vic and also at Jimmy James Eaton and at Maddie Tyne. Yeah, absolutely. We want to see them too. We want to see them and we want to reshare your amazing creations. So what's going to happen? Again, to refresh, we mm. will announce uh, the challenge at the start of every show, every Sunday. Um, and then the following Friday at 7 p.m., you have to have your competition entries in. And then the next Sunday, we'll announce a winner. Knock, knock, knock. Oh. I was wondering if there's a way to get extra prizes. There is, Jimmy. Oh. I'm glad you are. Us. Great. If you want to be in the draw to win more amazing Lego prizes, you can actually fundraise for Variety Vic as well. So there's heaps of information about that on mm. the website. Now, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, this is all well and good, but what's the challenge, man? What's the challenge? Tell me what I've got to build. Jimmy, I feel like when it's time. It's time to it's reveal time. this week's challenge. Bring. This week's challenge is build your dream pet. That's right. Woo. We have a pet. He is called Chewbacca. He's kind of like our dream pet, but he's our real pet. He if is. I could make him my dream pet, I'd probably give him some wings oh, so he could fly. Totally. That would but that be would great. also be dangerous because then when he goes for a poop... Not great. Uh, that would be a lot worse than um, bird poop yeah. on your head. Yeah. But guys, yeah. out of Lego, we want an, you to make your dream pet. So Totally. It could it, be anything from Jimmy, like a dinosaur. Whoa! Rawr. Or it could be... Uh, a dragon. Oh, a dragon. It doesn't have to be green. We just made these green. And it doesn't have to be real. It could be mythical. It can be from your imagination. Are you saying that dragons are real? Yes. Great. Yes, they are. Uh, but guys, yeah, it could just be a cat, a dog, or a cross between a cat and dog that I like to call a cog. A cog. Oh, yeah. I love that. 
that. So guys, get involved. Get involved. Um, again, there'll be all this information on the website and we'll be uh, reminding you throughout the show as well. Mm. Woo! All right, guys, you, we know why you're here. Mm -hmm. uh, for our beautiful faces. But also because we are going to be chatting to Brickman and every single team from Lego Master Season 2 right after I get my hair. Oh, like, washed. you've lost your hair? I'm going to... No, I won't. I won't. Right after this! Oh, not again. Mighty and Jimmy. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are so excited. We've got our suits on. We're looking fine because tonight, Lego Masters Season 2 comes onto the telly and we are talking to the main man, Ryan McNaught, aka Brickman. Welcome to the Maddie and Jimmy live stream. Good morning, afternoon and evening. Hello. 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 Oh, it's so lovely to see your face, Ryan. How are you? I'm going fantastically well. A little bit uh, crazy in the coconut, getting we're all cooped up. But the good thing is we've all been in the right business for the last few years to be well used to that, playing with Lego all the time. Totally. Perfect exactly. Time. Being being in a stuffy room is, is the thing of normality for us. <laughs> now, Ryan, this is not your first rodeo. Uh, you know, a year ago you were doing this for the very first time and now tonight... Lego Master Season 2 is going to go to air. How is it different from the first time for you? Well, I can say exactly the same thing to you, actually. That you've, it's not your, you've had a, a rodeo as well. So I feel like it's a bit of a family reunion, to be honest. Um, what, like most things, um, the first series, there's a lot of nervousness. There's a lot of, we don't know what it's going to be like. We don't know if it's going to work, if all those challenges we tested are going to work or not, you know. We didn't know what you guys were going to be like. What are the contestants going to be like, you know. He so, uh, yeah, this kind of, like, we, were, we were surprised by ourselves. <laughs> well, that makes both of us, I guess, doesn't it, you know. Um, so, so I, I guess the thing is, it's a bit like riding a bike again. We're, you know, we're hopping on the saddle one more time. We're going around again. It's exactly the same crew, everybody's the same. The only key thing that's different, and it, it, it's a pretty massive difference to be honest is, unlike you guys that had no idea what we were about to put you through, and you were very brave, I'll be honest, having never seen the TV show before, contestants from series two, they've seen what you guys have done. They've seen your trailblazing that you've done prior to them. So they're a little bit more armed and have a little bit more I guess, information as to what's going to happen to them. So, so they actually probably should owe you guys a beer or a drink or a, or a chicken parmer or whatever it is that you like for doing all the hard work that you guys did because, because they've honestly taken it to a whole other level, having learnt of what you guys have done. Yeah, well, that was going to be my next question, Ryan. Like, how do they, how do they shape up to the uh, original kids? <laughs> well, well, here's the thing, and this is what makes it so interesting is you guys, I'm, when I'm, I'm really genuine when I say this, when you walk through that roller door for the first time, you had absolutely no idea what was on the other side of the roller door. Like, yeah. none whatsoever. It's like, absolutely no idea. The chef kitchen, These... right? We had no clue. <laughs> <laughs> Correct as well. That wouldn't surprise me with what Hamish does, I guess, but... Um, <laughs> So these guys, this time, they knew when that roller door opened that there was a brick pit. They knew that there was tables. They knew the types of challenges that were going to be thrown at them. You know, admittedly, they're all new and everything's, you know, quite a bit different. But they had a bit of an inkling, whereas you guys, the trailblazers, didn't. So with that, I mean, a lot of the teams, for example, say, they've set up brick pits at home and have been testing themselves. Yeah, right. They've been doing all sorts of crazy oh. stuff based on 
the learnings that you guys did. Yeah, totally. I love it. Oh, we're just so pumped though. Like seeing the trailer, which we've seen a number of times now, Jimmy and I have had it on pause, looking at all the builds. Like it looks epic. Like we are so excited to see where you guys take this next yeah. um, season. We're, we're really pumped. Not giving anything away because we don't like spoilers, but do you think this yeah. new cast of teams are going to be put to the next level of, of tests? Is it, is it harder? Would we be sweating if we were in this new season? So, so there's two answers to that question. So the first thing is, because all of these teams have prepared, they've seen what you've done, they've seen how you've done it, and they've kind of practised. We have naturally had to take it to that, to that next level or else they wouldn't be as challenged as what they are. And not only did you know, uh, them as contestants learn as well, we learnt putting on the show as well what people are capable of and not capable of. So we went through this whole learning journey too about what Lego can do and what it can't do. So we think this time some of the challenges are pretty bonkers. Like next wow. level. I can't wait. I can't oh wait. Gosh. I'm hoping this means you guys have bought a few more kettlebells. Um, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I will give you a spoiler. I will give you a spoiler. This show is now 100% kettlebell free. Oh, oh good. Okay. Good, Good to know. Good to know. No and more, um, you know, bicep building. So that's fine. That's fine. So <laughs> Ryan, I don't. I'm pretty sure you've seen Lego Masters uh, US season. Uh, now Maddie and I sort of saw a clone of us. There was a, a blonde-haired yeah. kind of kooky girl, and then there was the another gorgeous uh, girl with two arms full of tats. So we kind of had a weird US clone. Is is there a season two clone of, of, of any of the uh, the teams? Well, there's only, there's only one, Jimmy and Maddie. Let's be brutally honest. Yes, that's so it. Only... Too kind. Too kind. We accept Can no substitutions. You, no substitutes. Can I tell you though? In all, just between you, me, and your loyal viewers, I'm a little freaked out. Oh. Oh, what really? About? Because you're calling me Ryan. <gasps> because during the show. As you know, no, I'm okay with it. It is my name, and, and I go by name. But as you know, during filming, we had to we had to do many different takes and cuts because you just go, "Hey Ryan, have you got a sec or whatever the case is?" Yeah. And as we know, that couldn't play on air, so it's a little bit different hearing people that I know in the Brickman world calling me Ryan. It's pretty awesome. It's very different. Yeah, I, I feel that. like when you're Ryan, you're you're a mate, but when you're brick man, it's business, and there's a little bit of uh, like, Ooh. Mr. Business. Oh, oh, the, pr the principal's here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <totally. laughs> hey, um, speaking of uh, you know, putting people to the test, Ryan, as you know, there are many kids watching, and the ah, oh, the chat is going bonkers. People are saying hi, Lots Ryan. We love you, Ryan. But we have some questions for you. This is a bit like a current affair right now. <laughs> are you willing to answer? The big questions. Hang on, let me just hang on. I just have a. <laughs> oh, a bit nerve wracking. Do I need a lawyer or anything? Is it okay? Maybe, under oath? Maybe. Under just get the phone ready. <laughs> okay, screen. all right, let's go. Hit me with it. Um, so the first question, um, Brickman, comes from Killian, and he has asked um, Have you ever built the Golden Temple from Lego Ninjago? Good build. So let me tell you. Without giving too much away, my two young lads at one point in their lives were massive Ninjago fans. Cool. So we, we were right into Ninjago. It was probably about two or three years ago and we pretty much built most things, um, including the Golden Temple. So we were, we were all over Ninjago. But I've got to tell you, we haven't had a Ninjago set in our house for probably about 18 months or two years. Uh, Minecraft is Minecraft. Ah, of fair course. call, fair of course. call. It's yeah. you know, it's yeah. gangbusters. So much more Minecraft. mature Minecraft. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Um, we have a question from Hamish Brickman, and he would like to ask... Oh, this is a different Hamish? Not, oh, yes. Not oh. Hamish, sure. not Hamish Blake. No. Well, you still owe me 20 bucks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hamish would like to ask, what is your favourite part about being on LEGO Masters? It, it's funny. We, as, as you guys well know, I mean, we have so much fun on the show. We really do. And I guess, ultimately, watching people show their skills and their imagination in a pressure situation like LEGO Masters which then in turn inspires millions of other people watching it. Yeah. I mean, that's a pretty unique thing. It's not often many people get to, to say they get to do that. So I'm definitely going down that path. And I mean, even nowadays today, because we're all stuck, you know, we're sort of, you know, distancing and isolating, it's even cooler. 
Oh, totally. Yeah. Okay, we have a question from Grace, and her question is, what is it like to build Lego for a living? Well, it's pretty awesome because I get to play with Lego every day, so that's, that's absolutely yeah. awesome. Look, it's funny, when I was growing up as a kid, I wanted to be three things. I wanted to be a train driver, a Supreme Court judge, <laughs> and a Lego mother. They were the three things in no particular order. So you can imagine as a kid of what you'd love to do, but you don't really, you know, as you go through life and you go to school and all those kind of things, you know, you kind of get a bit more sensible and realistic about what you want to do. So to be able to actually go back and, and do what I've always wanted to do as a young kid, that's that's really cool. It's no different to a sports person that wants to grow up, you know, opening the batting for Australia or kicking the footy for whatever team they want to play for. It's the same sort of thing. It just happens to be with Lego bricks. That's so true. I that's think it's so cooler, true. to be honest. I know, but that's right? just my take. <laughs> <laughs> I love that's, that. That's why you're on Lego Masters, Jimmy. That's exactly why you're on Lego exactly. Masters. And not Football Masters. <laughs> <laughs> Correct them in that. That show's terrible, by the way. That show's <laughs> terrible. Okay, so Evie and Isla have a really cool question, and their question is: Do you travel to build, or do you only build here in Australia? No, I, I travel a lot actually. We've got a lot of Lego models stuck all over the world, and it's funny. Often we'll build in our workshop and then ship it to wherever it's got to go because some of these models can take hundreds and hundreds of hours and millions of bricks to put together. And it's funny, I've bumped into some Lego models that I've made over the years just randomly. I happened to be in Legoland in Florida a few years ago and lo and behold, there was a model and I didn't build it for Legoland. It obviously had been moved around a few times. So it was like an old friend. It's like, oh, the mermaid. Oh, this. And it was so, so our Lego models end up all over the world, which is pretty cool. I love it. Um, we have a question from Elijah and he asks Brickman, what age were you when you first started to build with Lego and how old were you when you first built your really first really cool construction? All right. So uh, I got my first Lego set when I was three from my grandmother, Hazel Smith. Um, sadly, she's no longer with us, but she bought me a little blue boat about this oh. big and it was before Lego men even existed. Mini wow. things weren't even around back in those days. Yeah, look, I don't want to tell you how old I am, but I was pretty old. Um, and, and so that was my first. And I remember it really quite clearly because it was a pouring, cold, rainy day. And I just remember this happy place being with my grandparents, sitting on the floor, all nice and cosy and warm, building this new thing. And I remember it really clearly and it stuck with me all these years. So that was my first Lego experience. My first really super cool thing I built was um, back in the 80s, uh, obviously watching a lot of television, science fiction and all that kind of stuff, I ended up building or trying to build um, the ship from Battlestar Galactica, the oh, big one with the little ships that came out the side and all this kind of Yeah. And so I built this uh, Battlestar Galactica. And anyway, my mum took a photo of it. It's the lamest thing you've ever seen in your whole <laughs> life. It's all multicoloured and all sorts of terrible stuff on it. But as a child, I remember going, I'm the best Lego builder in the galaxy, man. Check this thing out. Ryan, in the first episode of Lego Masters, when we built our Mega City Challenge, we thought that was the coolest thing we'd ever built. And then by the end of the series, I think we were the same. We looked back and went, oh, what the heck was that? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny you should say that because, you know, Lego Masters, what a lot of people don't realise, and this is perhaps a bit of a tidbit for your, for your viewers, is everyone goes on a journey. And each build, you're learning new skills and things to add to your Lego skill set. And, and they build up over time. And if you look at the, you know, your later builds versus your first builds, oh, yeah. you're really kind of evolving and changing the whole time. It's a really cool thing. Last question we have from Gus. And that, Rickman, is uh, what was the hardest build you've ever completed? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, so many, many years ago, I had to make the Colosseum, as in the Roman Colosseum, out of Lego bricks. And of course, anything you make that's oval shaped out of square and rectangular bricks, yeah, for crazy. So I spent forever trying to build this thing. Eventually I got it and, and did it. And the skills that I learnt in that build, I was able to use later on to make like the Lego MCG and other models of a similar shape. So it was really hard and it was really difficult, but it taught me so much. So I'm going to stick with the Lego Colosseum. Well, Ryan, oops, sorry, Brickman, we better let you go, mate, because uh, you've got a show to do tonight. And 
just uh, we can't wait to see it, mate. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Thanks, Ryan. Abs absolute pleasure. It's great to see you both again. I just have to go and find my collection of floral shirts somewhere. I'll be off now. Muddy and Jimmy. Muddy and Jimmy. Jimmy, oh my gosh, you'll never believe it. I've just discovered time. Whoa! Can I help you? What's all this going on here? Oh, what going on where? Are you up to something a bit sneaky, are you? Sorry, Maddie, I've got no idea what you're talking about. There's nothing sneaky going on today. Just original Jimmy, doing what I always do best. Established 1982, keeping it real. Always similar, always the same. Mm, so you're telling me you haven't taken anything from me? No. Yes. N no. Y All what? right. All right, Jimmy, let's just cut to the chase. You claim you're up to nothing, but it's clear to everyone that you wearing my watch. So I am. Oh, my deepest apologies. Not a problem. Great hair, by the way. Oh, thank you. It's my trademark. Maddie and Jimmy. Hey, Maddie and Jimsters. Welcome back to the Maddie and Jimmy live stream show. Oh my gosh, Jimmy, I am so excited and not going to lie, uh, this moment right here might be the most exciting moment on our live stream to date. Oh. And I'll tell you why, because a little over a year ago, we yep. competed in a TV show called Lego Masters. I remember that. That happened. That happened. That it totally happened. did. And tonight, season two is going to premiere. Can you believe it? I'm so excited. And I have some very exciting news. Guess what? What? There's more exciting news? There is more exciting news. Okay. Today on the show, we don't have one. Okay. We don't have two. We don't have five. We have every single team on Lego Masters Season 2 here to chat with us. Oh, oh my gosh. Please welcome Jay, Stani, Jennifer, Jody, Annie, Runa, Danny, Tim, Summer, Iona, Josh. I feel like I'm rapping. You are. Summer, uh, uh, Trent, Alex, Jackson, <laughs> Damien, and Andrew. <sighs> Ooh, you had a breath. Wait, okay. I just got a stitch. I've got a stitch. Guys, welcome to our little show. Hi. Hi. Thanks for having us. Hi. Jay and Stani, guys, welcome. Uh, you guys have been friends since you were seven years old. Um, can I ask, is being on Lego Masters season two the height of your friendship so far? I think it's definitely one of our uh, heights of our friendship at the moment. <laughs> yeah, it's been an absolute blast. And I mean, it's it's amazing. We've been building Lego all our lives together. So this is the culmination of a lot of years. Yes. Oh, so I cool. Love that. I and love uh, Stani, I see you've got some Lego in the background. Could you give us like a quick view of your Lego room there? Yes, I can. If you've got the time. <laughs> okay. Wait. Yeah. Uh, whoa. Whoa. <gasps> okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is around. epic. Wow. It keeps going. I love it. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay. Jimmy, yep. this puts our collection to shame. It does. I, yeah, <laughs> I suddenly feel like we don't have that much leg up anymore. We definitely don't. It, um, it that puts is most amazing. people's collections to shame. <laughs> That's what I do. That's true. I love it. Um, so, guys, I have a viewer question from one of our awesome um, fans, Alex, and he has asked, what was the first Lego creation you guys ever built together? Buildings uh, and spaceships. Uh, Stani's been building Lego cities since we started building together. So that city that you are seeing now has been growing for 30-some years. Started yeah. off very small and is now very big. Uh, Rome wasn't built in a day. Uh, Stani's garage, Lego, yeah. Mega City was built in 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> just about, just about. Guys, thank you so much for chatting with us. Thank you. We can't wait to see you on TV tonight. Okay, thank you. you. Next up, we have the fabulous Annie and Runa. Hello, guys. Hi. Hello, we are so excited. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, we have uh, a couple of questions. Yes. Now, Annie, you're a tea leaf reader and Runa, you are a scientist. Did, you know, chemistry, physics, biology or, you know, tea reading uh, allow you to predict how amazing this experience was going to be? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing could, I don't think anything could have prepared us for how amazing this experience was. So yeah, we were 
very much without any form of insight heading into this process. It was quite spectacular, I think. Yeah, it was super incredible, though, to go through it all. So even with logic and psychic abilities, it was fantastic. <laughs> I love that. That's amazing. What a combination of skill, too. I'm so excited to see how all this plays out um, in your builds, guys. So cool. Now, the chats are going absolutely wild. People, are, uh, they love you. They uh, love you. There you go. The show hasn't even come out. You, people adore you. <laughs> Lots of hellos. I do have a question. Great. Um, Jimmy from Jacob and he asks ladies what is your favorite thing to build out of Lego mm. I like building teacups oh, yes. <laughs> perfect sense Annie I love that Annie have you ever tried to drink out of the teacups that you've built out of Lego sadly they're not quite waterproof yet I haven't mastered <laughs> that skill um, yes, but like it's that. always fun especially with my little ones to have these adorable Lego teacups for pretend tea parties Love, love myself that. a tea party. Uh, and <laughs> I, love, I love building video game characters. Oh, sweet. You're speaking Jimmy's language. Yeah. Right? Uh, what are we, who are we talking? Uh, in the past, I've done Spyro the Dragon and Crash Bandicoot. And are there any oh. new uh, computer games characters on the horizon? I'm planning on building someone, but I won't say who until Rick Benchin next year. Oh, oh nice. nice. Keep, it, keep a secret. I love that. Um, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Moving right along, we've got so many guests. Jody and Jen, welcome to the show, ladies. Hello. Thank you. Hi. Hi. You must be so pumped. We are very excited. Um, I hope we can live up to season one contestants <laughs> standards. Oh, of course um, you can. I'm and sure you, you guys will. proud? <laughs> I'm sure you will. Uh, the season one contestants, we're rubbish. Oh, that's us. Um, <laughs> Now, <laughs> now, Jennifer and Jody, can you tell us what is your idea of a dream Lego build? I don't know, really. I think maybe a, a big underwater scene. I'd really like to do something huge to do the ocean. It's my favourite place. It's my happy place. So oh. combine Lego and my happy place together. Why not? Great. Are, are you like that. a surfer? No, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so my actual, like, the thing I love building all the time over and over again is pirate ship tree houses. Um, I like combining the trees and the pirates together. Um, are you excited for the Lego Ideas pirate, like, tree houses that's about to come out? Yes. Yes. I can't wait to get it. I'm, like, itching to go to the shops, the shops and get it. Jimmy and I have just put it on right. order. I'm so excited. Uh, Rick James Bricks and we are busting at the seams. Can't wait. Like a little kid at Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I do have another question, okay, Jimmy. Great. Um, I've got a question for both of you from Stephanie and she asks, are girls better at building Lego? Great question. <laughs> I don't think girls are better. I think girls and guys have equal opportunities with Lego. Um, it's not a one gender versus another gender. The females are not um in it as much as the males but having said that when you are part of a group i'm part of a group here in south australia you're treated equally and i think you build equally as well my gut instinct is to say yes absolutely <laughs> but <laughs> but um i i mean i think that girls just use a lot more color um they're not afraid to be a bit more um crazy <laughs> i think <laughs> power to the ladies i say jody and jen Thank you. Excellent. And next up, we have a fellow married couple, Lego contestants, uh, Danny and Tim. Welcome. Thank you so much. Hey, guys. Hi. Hi. Uh, like us, you are the token married couple uh, in season two. Uh, now, when we were on the show, Maddie kind of was like the fine detail master, and I focused on, um, well, really ruining technique, if we're going to be honest. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just crying, holding bits of technique. Um, do you guys have sort of a distribution of, of Lego labor between you two? Well, a general thing is I'm the creative director and he's creatively directed. So <laughs> I'm <laughs> like, ah. just like us. Perfect. I love that. That is perfect. Yeah. Which actually um, seamlessly uh, leads into my next question, which is from Alison, um, guys. And she has asked, who is the boss out of you two? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, in the end, it's it's really Tim who's the boss because he controls everything. I'm just the one that says no. Like, the, the, the way that like, yeah, the way that we like to put it is like, I can think in brick and I can come up with the idea. She just makes it better. So I love that. Well, it's the perfect team, right? Coming up yeah. with a great idea, then making it better. Brilliant. Tim, that answer just scored you so many points. With Jenny, then. <laughs> <laughs> 
I love it. Does Matt, does uh, Danny ever uh, like put thing phrase things as questions when it's clearly a statement? In every marriage, yes. Yeah, so it's, just <laughs> it's the best way. It's like Jimmy, you know, what about those dishes? Do you think yeah. they'd be? Do you great think? No, Maddie says. Do you think it would be a good idea if you did the dishes? <laughs> the moment you answer back to that, the marriage is over. So that's it. <laughs> well, it answer. seems to still be going quite well, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. Well, now it is time to meet two BFFs who have been BFFs for pretty much ever, uh, Summer and Iona. Ladies, welcome to the show. Hello. We are so pumped to see you guys building up a storm tonight. Are you excited? I'm so excited, yeah. Oh, I'm a bit nervous. You should be. You should be. <laughs> terrified. You're going to be great. You're going to be great. Now, you shouldn't be nervous because you two have both competed nationally in the first Lego League making robots. How does, like, that match up to what we're going to see tonight? Cool. Well, I think when we both did Lego League, we were never in the same teams. We were always competing against each other. So it's fun that we're finally getting to work together on something like this. I think it'll be um, quite a bit different. There's, there's not a lot of uh, robotics in Lego Masters, so yeah. I love that you guys are into robots. That's brilliant. Um, I do have a question from a viewer, Jessie, and she has asked, what is your favourite Lego brick? I really like the little like hinge bricks. I think Amazing. they're fun. I'm a Amazing. big fan of the hinge clips. Love Jim, them. Jimmy loves them too. What about you, Summer? What's your favourite brick? I think since getting to work with them a bit, probably the snot pieces. They're pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. wicked. And great name too, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. We're so excited. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Andrew and Damien, thank you for coming on the show. Hey. Hey, hey God. Thanks so for having us. good. Yeah. Thank you. Our pleasure. Now, guys, sports bet. Uh, which seems really weird, has got <laughs> Lego Masters odds going at the moment and you guys are at the top. How do you feel yeah, with that? That worries um, me because the favourites don't usually win, do they? <laughs> oh, you never know. You never know. <laughs> I just love the fact that we're on sports bet. Right? Uh, Lego, Lego, you know, Tokyo Olympics. Lego, bring that it on. exactly it. I, I agree. I love that the show hasn't even come out yet and there's already odds. Yes. They've, they've yeah. Worked, they've, yeah. There's spies somewhere. <laughs> yeah. How do they know things? I don't know. Hey, now you guys are both dads, is that correct? <clears throat> yeah, That's yeah. Cool. Are you like that. the coolest dads ever now amongst your, your tribe? I don't know. I, I was cool before. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was... I'm a muso, so I, I used to do lots of gigs, lots of touring and stuff. So, you know, I come home from a tour with some cool things. So kid, the kids are like, oh, yeah, Lego, whatever. I think I'm only cool because I get to hang out with other celebrities. So, you know. Like Jimmy and Maddie. <laughs> that is so cool. Like and Jimmy and Maddie, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. Jimmy. Oh. Um, just before we continue <laughs> with the next question from our chat, I've noticed you guys have got your uh, building areas behind you. Uh, Damien, could you give us a little bit of a look at yours? You've got some Lego in the background. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so this is my build room. Uh, it's not too big. It's just a bedroom that I've sort of taken over. Uh, so, yeah, as you can see, yeah, I'll just tilt the camera a little bit. I've just got my bookcase there with all my bits and pieces. Ah. And there's, you can just see the table there. That's where I do the building. And behind me there is one of my featured pieces. Cool. Yeah. Display. That's the black tower. Kind of looks small from there, but it is quite large when you see it. It's, that is it's awesome. Small. It's very like uh, Sor Saruman's tower from uh, Lord, of the, Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. I took some inspiration from that. Um, it actually was actually quite small and shorter to start with. It was more like a, a traditional keep, but then I did the sort of central tower part, and that sort of gives it that feel and all the extra black spikes and everything. So, so cool. Um, and Andrew, uh, I can see a lot of stuff behind you. What's happening in your, your build area? Yeah, yeah. So I'll give you a quick whirlwind tour. Here we go. So we've got over here is a little town. I don't know if you can see that. Oh. Woo! Along here, trains, more trains, bridge, little bridge. Woo! That is uh, cool. little thing. Uh, and then over here, we've got another big bridge. Whoa. And more trains. Wow. So this is my layout that I have in my house. Stani, uh, Andrew's giving you a run for the money with uh, pimped out Lego garages. 
I have the garage open at the moment, actually, and kids, I mean, at the moment they don't, but they usually will just come along with their trains and drive them on my track and things. That's oh, awesome. So that cool. Is so cool. Yeah, it's kind of nice. You, you might get some 38-year-old men called Jimmy trying to do the same thing. <laughs> uh, yep, I've had those. <laughs> <laughs> Funny you ask that, Jimmy, because I do have a question that's coming from Cooper, who is a fan of the show. And Cooper says, can you ever be too old to play with Lego? <laughs> <laughs> that's a great question, Cooper. And the answer to that is absolutely not. Uh, unless you get to that point where you can't actually push the bricks together. So plan. You, know, you get that point where you go, yeah, <laughs> gone. Well, guys, we hope your clutching ability lasts for many years to come. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, guys. Pleasure. Thank you for having us. It's awesome. Guys, we are loving all your chats and questions that are coming through. Keep them coming. Uh, we have the Lego Masters Season 2 teams on the show right now. And moving right along, uh, one of these team members, uh, we bumped into an airport and we're like, oh, hey, not realising that uh, Trent was actually making Season Lego, Ma Lego Masters Season, season 2. two. Uh, at that point, but he wasn't allowed to say anything. He also has uh, Josh with him. Guys, Josh and Trent, welcome to the show. Thanks hey, Jimmy and Abby. Great hey. to be here. By the way, this is our like fancy premiere clothes. Oh. But I am actually wearing <laughs> tracksuit pants. very sharp. And Maddie is wearing a skirt, but she's also wearing tracksuit track pants. Tracksuit pants underneath. Yep. underneath. <laughs> I've got my tracksuit pants on. I've got trackies. Oh, yeah. How are you both feeling? Oh, it's a bit of nervous excitement as we get ready to build in the very first episode and just super pumped, but a little bit scared at the same time. Yeah, oh, I'm definitely funny. very excited, very keen. It's gonna be very weird watching myself on TV, but I'm, I'm very keen. Uh, now we've been looking at everyone's build areas, but uh, Trent, what have you got behind you there, sir? It's like my childhood all, all exploded behind you. Yeah, look, I, I, I am a child of the eighties and just love all the toys from that era. and. I've just let it become my obsession over the last 25 years. So it's all the, the wonderful toys of the 1980s that I grew up with as a kid. And I'm lucky enough in my house, I just thought if I could see if I can pick up the camera here, swing that around to have an entire room Whoa. dedicated just to toys, um, which is kind of my man cave. And, and as you can Whoa. sort of see across there, I love to keep a lot of the, the toys in their original packaging. Um, of course. You know, it gets a lot of controversy from the toy community, but uh, <laughs> it's the way I seem to roll. Um, Josh, how about you? Are you a leave it in the packet kind of guy or do you rip them open? No, I generally rip them open. Right, yeah. <laughs> saves I, me. Build the, Lego, build the Lego sets, have them set up in my house, like everything is unpacked. One of you rips, one of you keeps it in the pack. You know, it's, it's light and shade, it makes a great team. But what are you guys most excited about uh, for this coming season? I just think there's so much that can still be done with Lego. I mean, you guys were absolutely brilliant in season oh. one and just incredible builds that I think inspired a lot of us to give this show a crack. And we're just hoping we can kind of live up to the expectation you guys have set. I think for me, it's just like seeing it inspire other people. I know that watching the show myself, it was really cool and it made me really want to get back into Lego in season one. So... Uh, yeah, really cool to see other people just see what we do and then roll with that and do even better things. You guys have inspired loads of kids already and big kids, in fact. Um, we actually have a question that has come through from Georgie and she has said, how much Lego do you both own and do you like other toys? <laughs> <laughs> Which I think is quite fitting. I'll start that one off. So I love toys. Oh, and do you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and a little while ago, it was really quite a strange experience going into the toy aisles. A bit reticent, a bit like, oh, should a grown man kind of be in here? But now I just embrace it and, and just live the life um, as openly as, as possible. So I love my toys. But Lego is a big part of what I collect. And I probably have about two to 300 sets, wow. ranging from sets from the 1980s through to sets of today. I probably don't have as much Lego as Trent. Um, I collected a, a lot when I was a kid. Um, and unfortunately, a lot of that's been passed on to my brother who took it when he had kids. So that now that they've got it, my nieces and nephews have got all the, the household Lego. So I've had to restart buying stuff. But I've got a whole bunch of sets in my house, which I really love. I really love pirate Lego. So I've got like oh, yes. lots of pirates that are in. 
like Pirates Caribbean, Black Pearl ship built up in my house as well, which is really cool. So I really love that sort of style. And like uh, Jennifer, are you excited for the new Lego Ideas pirate uh, base that's coming oh, out? Oh, yeah. That looks Incredible really set. Cool. Yeah. yeah. The, the way that pays homage to the original Barracuda yeah. set that yeah. came out in 1989. Um, but how it also comes apart and can form a shipwreck on an island. Absolute genius, but absolute brilliance to pay homage to that, that original pirate Lego. There oh, was, a, it was a real... A jerky advert that they were advertising that Lego Ideas set. If you haven't seen it, yeah, uh, it, it brings tears to your eyes just watching it. A toy advert for all things. Uh, well, guys, just before you leave us, can we just get uh, one pirate impersonation from both of you? Arr, sure. I'm gonna sing you a nice sea shanty right now. So <laughs> hold on to your hats. Army hearties. Oh. oh, you guys nailed it. I am so excited, Jimmy. We have one last team to interview. Last but not least. Two Lego legends, Alex and Jackson. Thank you for coming on the show. Hey. Oh, thank You're you very for having us. Amazing. Guys, uh, got to say, uh, we've seen some Lego kind of build rooms. Uh, we've seen some toy rooms. But this is the first time I can see two uh, axes of, of rock in the background. Yes. yes. And I can see a very cool uh, Lego Harley Davidson behind you, Jackson. Or is that just a normal size one really far away? <laughs> no. We got it for Christmas last year. We're so pumped for tonight's episode. How, how are you guys feeling about it? I oh, can't wait. So excited. You know, we spent so long putting it together and can't wait to see how it comes out. I'm just really excited to see all the stuff we built again because it was a little while ago, so I feel like... like I feel like I, w I, w I want to see it again and just remember, like, just to make sure we actually did a good job or not. Totally. <laughs> well, it is. You kind of almost forget, right? And then it's like, oh, my gosh, that wasn't a crazy dream. I totally made that. <laughs> yeah. That's good. But making our builds look spectacular on camera. Amazing. Yeah, it's, it's, so, it's so true. I think, you know, we built stuff on um, season one and, you know, you build it and you walk away and then you see it on television and there's all the smoke and the cool lights and, and the music. It's, yeah. And that crazy um, probing camera with on the stick. Did you guys see that when they were filming? They could get yeah. you across the build. Yeah. Yeah, wicked. It really makes it <laughs> seem like your minifig size walking amongst your own build. Mm. There are some very talented people there that make what we build look incredible. And I think uh, I'm very thankful to have them as part of the show. Totally. <laughs> Big time. Now, yeah. you guys met back in high school, is that correct? We were both in the drama club. We're kind of the drama nerds. Woo! Uh, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I like far more talent than I did. I was more just, uh, I was usually an extra. Um, but yeah. Been a lot of time as a teenager playing Lego as well. I've got a question, um, actually, uh, from a Steph. She has asked, um, "What influenced your um, your career paths? Was Lego a part of that?" I think uh, Lego was definitely a part of influencing my career. Uh, you know, putting Lego together as a kid and seeing how how incredibly clever the people at Lego are to make this system that fits together so well. Like, just really inspired me to, you know do engineering and progress down that down that path like I I don't know if it's where I would have gone had I not picked up Lego so I mean it's been incredibly influential in my life and my career yeah so as a visual artist um, but Lego had a huge part in my creative development when I was a kid yeah it definitely being able to explore so many different creative options with Lego like led me to get interested in the arts and just kind of went from there it's such a great medium and I do love that it can be so technical and yet artistic at the same time. That's, and you guys proved that perfectly. That's the best thing about Lego. You can feel like you're an artist when you've got no artistic <laughs> capability. <laughs> I love that. Um, I have another question that's oh. come through from Stephen. And he has said, I like your hair. <laughs> Does it ever get stuck in the Lego? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jackson's is a little bit longer than mine and it definitely posed a little bit of a risk in building. Um, <laughs> Jimmy <laughs> said he doesn't have that issue. I don't, um, I, luckily, um, my son, he has all the hair. <laughs> 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 Guys, thank you so much for coming on the Maddie and Jimmy live stream show. We can't wait to see what all of you create. Um, you guys Absolutely. rock. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for having us. Maddie and Jimmy. Hey, so cool. Oh my gosh, Jimmy, that was just the.
horse thing. Oh, guys, thank you so much for chatting with wow. us. Um, and thank you all to you guys for all of your amazing questions. Oh, there were so many, and I'm so sorry if we didn't get to all of them, but I've got a <laughs> list, and we are going to send them to all those Lego masters. Yeah. There's a few pretty cool things that got oh, uh, shout-outs. We all uh, love their hair. I Thanks, know. guys. That's all right. <laughs> Was it your hair? I assume you're talking about my beard. <laughs> there were some amazing questions in there, guys. So we will be sure to pass them on to those amazing Lego masters. Um, a quick shout out to Abby's mates. Hi, Abby's mates. They're watching today. Abby just asked, could we Abby's do a shout out? Abby's mates. Abby's hello. mates. And hello, everybody's <laughs> mates. Also, a quick thank you to Channel 9 and Lego Masters for letting us speak to all those I amazing just can't believe it. contestants. They're, what and a Brickman. bunch of legends. Yeah. Like, I just want to be all of their friends all, all right. the time. Yeah. Um, guys, thank you so much. Um, tune in tonight for the first episode. It's going to be amazing. Also, let us know who you think might be the winners. Like, I know. If, if you've picked, a few people were messaging in. I got so, a, um, a, uh, go, a Go Summer and Iona. People hey, like him. Team um, Summer and Iona. Trent and Josh, um, queer people are fans of. I think because he had such a great collection of toys. People were yeah. like, I love his toys. I would so love cool. to go around to his house. <laughs> and, and obviously chat with him, but I would... Uh, maybe I shouldn't because I'd probably open all these toys I feel and like then you just play me. with them all. Yeah, yeah. Um, Jimmy, what are we going to do now? We are going to do what we do every time try and take over the world. No, oh, we're going gosh. to play a quiz. A quiz. We're going to do a quick quiz, three questions today, Ooh. just because this show is a bit special and, and we don't want to go over. Totally, totally. So, guys, uh, before we start the quiz, we are going to be doing a mini fig scramble. So, if you have some mini figs that you feel comfortable with ripping open, you can. Absolutely. If you don't want to rip them open, no pressure. You can also just like break up some mini figs, maybe just put them in a bag or, totally. or mix them up with some other bricks. Or if you don't have have any mini figs, just build something. Build something cool and send us a photo. Send us a photo. Absolutely. Um, because what I will do is I'll grab those photos, I'll put them up on our fan gallery on our website so you can check them out. Guess so, what? so cool. Yes. The quiz it is about started. to begin. But before it does, Maddie, your yeah. improvised song, as always. Well, I'm going to go off a bit of um, uh, Ruby and Lillian, Team Puppy Dog Eyes. They yeah. sent me Woof, so I'm going to go a Woof Woof quiz, a Woof Woof quiz. It's time for the Woof Woof quiz. Might not feature dog questions. <laughs> Here we go. All right, right guys. Dog. Question uh, one. Oh, hang on. I've got. That's all right. I've got. I've just got loads of things. Loads of questions well, coming. Oh, it's question three. Whoops. Oh, that's I've okay. added all higgledy piggledy. Question number one. Question what? As long as we didn't give away the answers, oh, right? That's all right. How many more bricks are there in the brick pit for season two? Dos due of Lego Masters. A. Five hundred thousand more bricks. B. 2.7 million more bricks. Wow. C, 150 more bricks. They're low budget. That's, yeah, totally. Or D, 1.3 million more bricks. Wow, there's so many, yeah, interesting options. So, there, just to explain that question, it's not how many bricks in total, it's how many more bricks there's going to be. More bricks. Hot tip. So, how many bricks did we have in season one? Oh, just a shy two and a half million bricks. Wow. I don't know if they actually counted them. Like, wow. were they like. To two million four hundred thousand nine hundred ninety nine and there was two definitely and a, a brick counter. There was mm. definitely a brick counter. There but were brick how monkeys. many more? Okay, so we've got some answers. Even and Isla is saying A. Um, Zoe is saying D. Um, as well as Sienna is also saying D. Uh, D for Ruby and Lillian. Mm -hmm. Loving these guys. We're getting lots of D's. Okay. Love it. Uh, who else? Yep, Ruby and Lillian, Team Puppy Dog Eyes. Abby and Leo CD as well. Um, 1.3 million more bricks. That is a lot more bricks, Jimmy. That is a lot, lot is more a bricks. That is a lot more bricks for parents to step it on. It is a lot. If you had 1.3 million bricks on your lounge room floor, I don't think you'd be able to see I the I feel carpet. like that would cover the whole floor. Yeah. Team Brickheads, Killian, Hamish and Katie. So Killian says B, Hamish and Katie say A. There you go. Mm. Harrison says 500,000 more and so does Grace. Abby, right. 1.3 million more. Um, and Elijah says C. I love this. So many answers, Jimmy. I and feel... of course, guys, um, sorry, I interrupted you. I was just going to say, that make sure you keep your own score. Uh, yes, and totally. keep it honest. Sorry, Matt, what are you going to say? Well, we all know that I can't do the maths. So well, someone just changed it at the last minute. Oops! Okay, Grace says 500,000. Perfect, okay. Grace. Awesome. Love it. Okay, I feel like, Jimmy, it's time to announce. Hang on, I'll just check the conditions. Yep, it's time. What conditions were they? Uh, the quiz conditions. Oh, okay. All right, the answer is, drum roll. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <gasps> D. 1.3! D! 1.3 million more bricks. Wow. That is Huge. Wowzers. That almost takes it up to how many more? So what's 2.5 plus, plus 1.3? I don't know. 3.8, is that million? right? 3.8 million bricks? Did what? you do a math right on that? I don't know. 
Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Text I think she might have done the math wrong, but anyway, okay. <laughs> we'll soon get people it's telling us if that lot. answer's wrong. I can't believe it. That is so many more bricks. I wonder if they've had to expand the brick pit. They would have had to make... Do know, some renos. Renos. Well, let's find out. It's time for... Question two. Question... Oh, my favourite. What mock is in the box? We can't get this one wrong. This is exciting, Jimmy. Is it Jimmy. A, Love a, mock a in Pegasus? The box. Is it B, a sea monster? Is it C, an ogre? Ogre? Mm. Or D, sorry, that's pronounced ogre. Or <laughs> D, a leprechaun. A leprechaun. A leprechaun. A Pegasus, B, C monster, C ogre, or D, leprechaun. Wow. What is in the box, what is guys? In the box? What do we I think? I want to know. Um, I'm pretty excited, Jimmy, because this is one of my favourite parts of our show. Opening the, the box. Because I always forget. Is it your favourite I... part looking at my face? Oh, yes. That is a very close second. <laughs> Um, I always forget what I put in the box. So then when I open it, it's a lovely, pleasant surprise. What are people saying is in the box? Um, we're getting a lot of, um, we're getting some C's. I have got an A uh, from Roman there. Um, what, do, what do you guys think? Um, a lot of people says, are saying A. Sienna says A. <laughs> I love that someone said Lego. And Lego. you'd be correct. But um, that is, it's always Lego. It's always like Lego. We've got lots of A's. You've got to narrow it down, mate. Narrow it down. <laughs> narrow it down. Abby and Leo say B. Um, we've got B, C, Monster from Elijah. Uh, oh, lots of B's, actually. And if you, if you forgot what they were, here they are again. What mock is in the box? Mock stands for my own creation, as we all know. I love uh, it. A, Pegasus, B, C, Monster, C, Ogre, or D, a Leprechaun. Ruby, Ruby and Lillian say A, B, C, and D. They reckon oh, that all would be of cool. them are in the box. That would be cool. Imagine if that was... Ab mm. um, Abby says ab uh, Pegasus. I was going to say Abacus. <laughs> I was talking about abacuses we talking, in the last episode. I was going to say, we were talking about, well, it was Abby and Pegasus mushed together. Abacus. Is Abacus. She's a magical right. flying horse and she can count. And she can count. Um, C for Aiden, Zoe Leprechaun. Oh, Jimmy, I All feel right. like it might be time. It's time to open it. Right. Here we go. Oh, it's not opening. Oh. What's in there, Mads? Oh, I'm excited. I remember now. You can pull it out. Be careful. You're just saying that to me so I don't break it. Yeah. Oh, it's a Pegasus. It's a Pegasus. Oh. oh my gosh, guys, a Pegasus, which Jimmy also I'm doubles. The little mermaid song. It also doubles. Oh. When you stop singing, let me yeah. know. <laughs> it also doubles as what? <laughs> it also doubles as my favourite pet, which takes me ah. back to the Variety Kids Challenge. Yeah. So this is the kind of thing you guys could build or something like that. Your favourite idea of a um you know, awesome pet. Um, so a Pegasus is one of my favourites, along with the unicorn. Yeah. Um, so cool. How are you today, Pegasus? I'm wonderful, thank you. I'm a flying horse. How could I not be good? <laughs> Except you don't want to stand underneath me when I'm flying. Why? Because you'll get a pat on the head. Oh, right. There a you go. A horse pat. A horse pat. Um, there you go, guys. That is pretty cool. All so right. we would love to see your creations this week. Just go nuts when you're entering the variety of yes. kids. Challenge. Let your imagination be your only limitation. <laughs> guys, we are flying through this quiz. We have... A bit uh, like the Pegasus. Fly away, fly away. Because we need some space because... We do. It is time for... <gasps> Who is going to win the minifig scramble? Oh my god! Will it be A, Maddie? Boo! Will it be B, oh. Jimmy? Hooray! Will it be C, Chewy? <laughs> or D, will it be a tie? Will it be a tie? As in like, like a bow tie? Or like a Vietnamese spring roll? Oh wait, that's Vietnam. That's Vietnam. That's not Thailand. That's oh, a completely different Jimmy, place. Jimmy, you're about as good at geography as I am maths. Thank I you am know. so good at geography. <laughs> I thought it was geometry. There Guys, you go. This is the minifig scramble. Oh my gosh! Uh, a lot Who's of you win? would already already know how this works but for those of you who don't the rules are as follows the rules are you have to open and build a mini fig in the shortest time possible you are not allowed to use scissors to open the packet what? and finally you'll need a watch or a phone to time yourself a bada bing, a bada boom. Uh, guys, Woo! that is how you That's do exactly it. That's how you do it. Um, but for now, I'm going to move my computer aside, Jimmy James. Oh, are, you, are you getting scared that I'm going to uh, destroy you again like I did last week? No, I'm limbering up. Ah, oh, okay. Mini cool. fig limbering up. Yeah, nice. All right. Nice. All right. Are we ready? So, uh, I guess. We have Why to get the I timer. Just, oh yeah, let's let I've got my watch. You've here. got your watch? I've got my fancy fancy right. watch that does the things. All right. that so takes the um, time. just to recap, last time we had a minifig scramble, this guy won. So but let's you guys, remember before, that Jim 
Let's remember that I got a bicycle in mm. my thing mm. as well, and Jimmy did not. You did. It was a lot harder to do. Maybe I'll get a bicycle now. Um, <laughs> guys, also, please let us know who you think is going to yep. win. Please um, do. Uh, some people are saying Maddie. There's a bit of a tie. There's a lot of go Chewy, uh, Ruby chewy, and Lily and it'll be a tie. Chewy. Evie and Isla go Jimmy. Thank you, Evie and Isla. <laughs> Thank you for believing in me. Um, all right, Jimmy, I think it's time. All right. Are we ready? Yep. Are we set? Yep. Go. Ugh. Oh. My teeth, my teeth. Oh, no. Every time. All right. So right, I've okay. got like a little um, backpack a guy. Cute little he looks person. like a sort of. Oh my gosh, ranger. I love this hair. I'm a bit jealous, Jimmy. I would really like to dye, dye my hair. And of course, ones. they've got to have all their little bits. Okay, okay. Done! Stop it! Oh, wait, I haven't got the no, thing. No, on. no, Done! Oh, me, come me, on! Me, 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 me. No! Woo, woo, woo. Can we see an instant replay? You're not <gasps> holding your things. You're not holding your things. Well, you aren't either. Done! All right, I'll give it to you. Oh, but does Maddie it Maddie wins by a hair. Does it. Oh, by purple hair. Oh, her face is the wrong way round. Oh, no. Her face was no. the. Oh no, my hat's the wrong way oh, round. Oh, hang on. Oh, this is a disaster. I right, done. Fine. Yeah, two Jimmy. for two. Two no, for two. Fair guys. Like, does it count if the face is the wrong way round? It does not count. People oh. are definitely saying it doesn't count. Go Jimmy. Go Matt. Uh, oh, so that's who I got. Matt. I got the little like uh, Boy Scout guy. And who did you get? I got this really cool. Um, Cute little uh, girl with purple hair, and um, did you break it? I don't know where it went. <laughs> um, and a cute little um, what do you call these birds again? A uh, flamingo. A flamingo. Um, so these were courtesy of the fabulous Rick and Caroline from Rick James Bricks. Thank you guys for sending those and through. I, thank you so much, Rick James. Rick James Bricks. Thank okay, you so much, okay. Rick James Bricks. Uh, go there for all your Lego needs. Do you like my little hat? Oh, it's a beautiful hat, Jimmy. It's a beautiful, beautiful hat. Um, wow, Jimmy. So that brings us to the end of the quiz. What? A great quiz and it what a great, a great show. Great Exhausting but so much fun. It Thank you. It was a you. little bit stressful. It's a bit like a roller coaster. The yeah. internet's a bit like a roller coaster. It really is, it? <laughs> especially where we live. Um, guys, thank you so much for thank joining you so in. Much. A huge thanks to all of our guests, Brickman, and all of the season two uh, Lego Masters who are going to be on tonight be on sure Channel Nine. To tune in tonight, guys. Channel Nine. It is going to be epic. Mm. Um, almost as epic as our Variety Kids Challenge that you all need to enter um, as soon as you can. Jump yeah. on our website. Click on the variety link there, um, set up a profile and get creating. The challenge for this week is your favourite pet. Absolutely. And of course, guys, please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. And no, we don't do MySpace. No. Uh, go and check out our YouTube right after this. Subscribe if you haven't already. <gasps> and uh, yeah, anything else, Mads? Um, I think your Pegasus should say goodbye in that, the beautiful voice that you did before. And goodbye to you all. Guys, we will uh, be watching the show uh, tonight, so uh, we hope you guys are as well. Maddie's going to stick on the chats for a little bit as well. We certainly will, and we'll see you next Sunday, and we can talk all things Lego Master Season 2. And goodbye. Bye, guys. See you next time. See ya. Blah, 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 blah Maddie and, and Jimmy. Jimmy. Every man, woman, every girl and boy There ain't no disputing, it's my favourite toy I'm a powerful woman, I'm strong and I'm crazy but stepping on a Lego makes me cry like a baby Uh-oh, uh-oh, I just stepped on a Lego Uh-oh, uh-oh, I just stepped on a Lego Uh-oh, uh-oh, I just stepped on a Lego Lego. I'm a big tough man with nothing to lose But Lego can be spooky when you're not wearing shoes It's pointy, it's sharp, it's worse than an itch When I step on a Lego, it hurts like a bee sting Which is quite a lot it makes my foot sore <laughs>